Hello gamers! Here are tech screw we are zero way supporters. That's why today we'll save this Razer Kraken gaming headset from being disposed. Because these headsets don't have spare parts, you have only two choices. Either buy a new headset, throw them out, or watch tech screw DIY video on how to repair them. Today we'll repair this headset with super glue and baking soda. You can use this technique to repair other band headsets too, by the way. This Razer Kraken headset is in sad condition. Damage slide their plastic on both sides. This do-it-yourself will require some tools, super glue, baking soda, and some metal wire for strengthening purposes during gluing process. Before starting, it's important to check that headset is actually working properly and that the wire is not damaged. If you break headset's plastic construction, try not to damage the wires in any way before you start gluing the construction, or you'll have to also repair the wires. If your headphones are working, then you can start the repairs. But if they don't, then watch our DIY soldering video on how to fix the wires, and only then you should start the gluing process. To do this properly, we need to put the headset together just like it was originally, so that when we apply the glue, we know how to properly connect parts together. When it's done, you should ask your parents if you can play with super glue, especially if you're younger than 18 years. Make sure to properly read terms and conditions and not skip them like you usually do. Remember that super glue can be carcinogenic, that's why it's a good idea to use gloves. Take the super glue and apply it on the places where construction should be glued together, or simply put, on the fractured areas. Then carefully assemble the broken parts as they were before the big yikes happened. And then keep the assembled parts together for a while. Currently we need to connect parts together so that we can continue the operation. While glue is hardening, we can put a piece of paper under the headphones to make it easier to collect the spare stuff and save the table surface from the glue. Well, they look like new, but don't you dare putting them on your head they will immediately fall apart. Only small children glue like that, and here a tech screw will do it properly. When the first layer of glue has hardened, apply a little more glue over the glued part to provide a better basis for the next steps. For the next part we need a soft metal wire, such as aluminium. In the worst case you can use a match or metal nails. The second layer of glue has dried. Visually the headphones look very good, but in reality they are very fragile. So let's go to the next step. Nip off two small wires that we will use to secure the fractured part. Check if both metal wires fit there. You can also use nails, paper clip or match instead. Then apply super glue on top of our fasteners. We have to make sure that it's all one whole construction. This way we can make sure that headset will serve for a very long time. Then make an additional fastening that will go over the existing one. This can be skipped if you promise that you will use your headset carefully and with care. And again apply some super glue. Now go and steal your grandmother's magic powder, baking soda. Pour it over the super glue. There's no such thing as too much soda because glue will consume it as much as it needs. Then quietly borrow your grandfather's or sister's toothbrush and wipe off the excess soda. And then again apply the super glue on top of the baking soda. Try to apply it everywhere in a thin layer. Soda together with super glue makes a solid material that is good for such repairs. And again put some baking soda on top of the glue as much as you can. You can already see where this is going. Super glue with baking soda hardens very fast. After this, just wipe off the excess soda. You can add such layers as much as you want, but it seems to me that it will be enough. And headphones are ready to use, but I like to hide glued places with adhesive tape because then defect is less conspicuous. By applying a few coats of adhesive tape, traces of grandma's magic powder are no longer visible, and no one will be in trouble, I hope. It may not look very cool, but at least Razer Kraken headset is fixed. Actually both sides of these headphones are damaged, but the owner had repaired one side on his own without glue. He simply used a lot of painter's tape. Glue the other side using the same technique. Use glue and some sort of fasteners to put parts together like they were before. Check if everything fits perfectly. If it does, then apply the glue. While glue dries, you can use your little brother as assistant to hold the construction together or use pegs. Once construction is holding together, it's time to apply layers of glue and baking soda. Don't forget after each layer to remove the excess baking soda. And then again apply glue and soda. And obviously remove the excess soda after the last layer, just reminding you. Now it remains to wrap the tape around the glued areas and both sides of these headphones will be repaired. You'll be able to sell these to your best friend and lie to them that they are totally new. Adhesive tape doesn't look pretty, but at least headset is usable. Now that we officially repaired this gaming headset, Let's do a small stress test. As we can see, there are no problems. I have glued more than 20 headphones this way, and I can say that they never broke in the same place. If user is careless, then headset will break in another place. 
but you already know how to repair them. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't glue yourself to the table. Your like is an important indicator for us that such money and planet saving DIY videos are needed. Thanks, and as always we are looking forward for your comments and suggestions for next DIY videos. Thanks once again, and ciao!